Welcome to weekly brain yoga session at Radha Krishna Temple. I'm one of the yoga and wellness practitioner, a teacher, and a student of a lifetime. My name is Devi. And today I would like to share the beginner practice of several yoga asana, which will help to maintain your physical and mental well-being uh, for day-to-day -day basis. Let's get started now. Oh, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Saksha Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Now all together, three omka to traditionally begins the open your practice with three omka. Sit up tall, inhale. Oh, oh. Let's start breathing longer than your normal breathing. Set your intention that you will give your best, striving for the best version of yourself. Committing this practice for your physical, mental, spiritual well-being. Let us remove all the distraction for this one full hour. Commit on to your yoga mat, to this practice, as we all know, yoga is also for the mind. After setting this intention, bring your sentiment, bhav, devotion, lawn in he, rati, lawn ex he, sham. You may take any mantra, any divine name that you can relate to. You may continue to chant this name or mantra in the mind. And let's begin our action. Full yoga breath, take a long deep breath in. Feel the expansion of your stomach, diaphragm, ribcage, chest and shoulder. And long exhale. Shoulder relax, chest go down, diaphragm, stomach engage. Continue to breathe full yogi breath and maintain this breathing throughout the whole practice. Once you have your proper breathing, now we can start our asana. Starting gentle warm up, griva sanchalan or griva chakrasan, movement of the neck. Bring your chin down, exhale. Mindfully rotating, inhale. Your inhalation, half a circle. Exhalation, half a circle. Observe all the stretching sensation in every direction. Three to five rounds. Continue with your own rhythm and match with your breathing and the movement. After three to five round of your neck rotation, take your own time to complete. We'll move on to the shoulders. Scan the sanchalan or scan the chakras and move your shoulder up 
in, back and down. You can rotate just as the shoulders. Shoulders are responsibility muscles. They are tight usually if you have a lot of duties, to-do list. Let's rotate them mindfully. You can also join with your fingertips on the shoulders and go with the whole arms if you like. So make sure you are going for big motion and breathing together. So you can switch it up the way you're sitting just to balance it out for your hip and go for Kati Chakrasana. Exhale forward. Inhale, start rotating the whole upper body. You can include your head. For dear devotees, continue to chant in the mind. Inhale, that he. Exhale, By chanting in the mind, we are turning this yoga asana practice to sadhana, to remember the name of divine. Other way around, very carefully. So we are start moving the spine. We know that spine is like an energy center. All the nerves pass through within the spine and let's wake up those spine. After your neck, shoulders and spine, let's come to Majari Asan. Before we begin all the flow of the Asan, gently warm up and also know the resting pose, three resting pose where you can rest. So from Ajayasan, cat pose, tabletop, hands and knees, your knee right underneath the hip, palms right underneath your shoulders, fingers spread wide and inhale. And then exhale round the back, draw your navel in, tuck your pelvis, chin go to the chest. As you inhale, opposite directions, lengthen, Look up, let's open, chin up. Feel the stretch on your jaw, throat, chest. Aware of all this sensation. That is a sign of the progress to work on your tension. Exhale, again round the back, chin to chest. Three to five round with your own breathing rhythm as well. Basically trying to move all the spine, your all the vertebra in the spine, every disc of your spine. Once you complete with your cat and cow stretching, let's now come to Bhavatasana. Tuck your toes, spread your fingers wide, share the weight with your fingertips, so that it's not just on your wrist. Push your hip up high, lift off the knee from the floor and now stretch the spine. First, really focus on making the spine lengthen straight. You can bend your knee if you need to. Check your toes, they are parallel and hip distant apart. You can lift up all your toes and go ahead and spread them out, set them back down. Continue to breathe. Hold it here for three to five long breathing as you decompress the spine by pushing your hip up and back. Start warming up your shoulders and now lower down your knees lower down your hip on your heels if possible 
If your hip doesn't touch your heel, that's okay. Just ease into this stretch. Lower down your forearms, forehead. Balasan. Child pose. Inhale. Energize your body. Exhale. Calm the mind. Inhale, coming back when you're ready. Now, anytime if you need rest, you can go to this three asanas where you can rest, take a moment. Now, foundation of the flow, vinyasa, the heart of Surya Namaska. So let's uh, practice vinyasa first. Tuck your toes. Exhale, come back to this pavatasa. And inhale. Come to Phalakasan. Make your body straight line. Now, if you have any shoulder wrist issue, you can come down to your elbow or you can modify this asana. Exhale, lower down your knee. If you have your Ashtanga Namaska in your practice, lower your chest and chin down. Otherwise, simply gradually, slowly come down to the floor by using the strength of your arms. Lower down and curl your toes. Inhale. Reach your chest and chin up. Bhujangasan. Cobra position. And exhale. Push all the way back to your Palakasana. Uh, Bhavata, sorry. Bhavatasan. So this sequence is called vinyasa. So now let's flow through with your breathing rhythm. Inhale, Balakasan. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaska, or just simply all the way down to the floor slowly. Hug your elbow in. Inhale, Bhujangasan, Cobra position. Using the spine, not much of your hands. Exhale, push all the way back. Bhavatasana. Now go for a couple more rounds to practice that flow, the flow of breathing and the movement together to match. Thank you for joining Brain Yoga session. This is just a part of the whole practice. Uh, let me know how you like the practice. Comment below which asanas are helping you the most. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't been and uh, click the bell icon so that you will not miss the practice next week. You can join me also in person here at Radha Krishna Temple. You can check out radhakrishnatemple.net. Lastly, I would like to invite you uh, to a wonderful satsang after your yoga practice. We also have weekly satsang at Radha Krishna Temple where you can join in person uh, with blissful Kirtan chanting and meditation. So thank you all.